right? So then you start growing, you start meeting at like a more you know formal location, right? So now you're building up a business that has a following. You have, I'm assuming at this time, you know, tithing people are giving yeah. to the church, and so maybe you're starting to get a little bit more finances. And how do you start kind of building out a staff and a team yeah. and because, I mean, at a cer- certain point, like every, every entrepreneur, you're wearing a lot of hats. Yeah. But, you know, at, at what point and how did yeah. you start saying, okay, now I need to start developing a team yeah. and where do I find these people? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. One of the best things that, uh, that, that, that I've learned is, is just having a running uh, ideal staffing plan. Um, by running, I just mean I'm constantly looking at that and making changes to it and, and dreaming about um, you know, personnel, you know, who, who, do, who do we need right now? Like in um, an org chart type way or? Well, both it's on a Google doc, just the ideal staffing plan is on a, on a Google doc. And then, and then we have a, what we call an accountability chart, not just mm-hmm. an org chart, but who, what are you responsible for? Um, but just the ideal staffing plan is like, what is my context right now? And, 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 and what is God doing and what are we doing well? And what are we not doing well? And, and so who do we need? Mm-hmm. Um, and, and constantly looking at, uh, you know, who, who do we need and who, who our next hire is. I, I learned that pretty early on. I forget uh, from whom, but it was really helpful. Like you should always be thinking about um, who your next hire is. Mm. And so I'm literally always constantly thinking who our next hire is. Mm. Um, what's the next, uh, what's the role? Not, not so much the person, though I, I can talk about that because I do think there's a time where you, you just hire purely for talent right. without even a necessary role, uh, you know. Um, but but for the most part, it's what's the role, mm-hmm. um, you know, what's going to move us, uh, what's going to move the ball down the field for us as a organization, as a right. church, um, you know, well, this role, uh, you know, or this more specialized role, uh, or, um, you know, man, this per, you know, the, the, the few times, the rare times where it's like, that's a rare talent. I just want to get that person, him or her. And, uh, and we'll figure out something right you know right uh and so uh, i've always always had just a, a running ideal staffing plan uh and uh, you know you got some numbers on there like uh you know what's our budget what's the what's our personnel budget uh what kind of room do we have in that budget do we want to go over that for mm-hmm. a particular reason at a particular time but uh, just having a running staffing plan um, made made me constantly think about it hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So we, you know, early on, we we start the church, and you know, we're talking about, you know, we go from 120 on that first service to, you know, we have 350 in the fall. You know, six seven months later. Yeah. So from the time that I'm the solo staff person to seven months later, I've got three times the church that I had when I started. Mm. Um, you know, we are, con- you know, we're, you're thinking right away, like who's my first staff person, right? Uh, who do I need to hire? How do I need to do this thing? And, you know, you're talking about uh, contract labor, you're talking about, uh, part-time, full-time things like that. And not really knowing where the money's going to come from in my business. And, uh, probably a, a, a lot in, in, in yours as well. You, you might, uh, y- you know, uh, getting people to come to your church is almost like prospecting. Like they come, but they don't start giving for a while. Mm. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, you might not see any of that. Yeah. The uh, sales cycle. Yes. If you want to call exactly, it that is exactly. longer. Uh, and obviously what we're doing isn't, you know, just to get them to give to us, but you, you, to, to build that organization, you know, it needs to be supported. And so, um, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to see, um, as we're growing, I know that we're, the money will trail behind a little bit. What is that going to look like and what do we need and, and who's our, who's our next hire? Yeah. 